Hello, welcome back to the official podcast. Today we're joined by a special guest, Oompaville. Hey, hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. How's it I've going? Never done a di- uh, I've never done a Discord uh, podcast. This is very interesting. How do you do... Wait, you've, you've got a podcast, for those of you that don't know, so the Some sort Ordinary of, yeah. Podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, how how do you guys there. do that? I, I assume that uh, uh, it was through Discord. It's, it's like uh, some other thing. It's terrible. What is it called? Um, uh, <laughs> Skype? I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> No, 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 it's like Zoom though. <laughs> it's like Zoom. It records stuff automatically and it like cuts out. It's they they it's got a lot of cool cool AI features. A lot of I don't know. I forget what it's called. I keep wanting to say partner Isn't slate, like but that's not it. No, it's oh. something like that though. Uh wait, wait. Have shit. we looked into that? <laughs> Have we looked into getting off Discord? It's called uh Riverside. That's what it's called. Riverside. Riverside. Yep. We never really had a need. Well, the, I mean, really currently we do. Discord it fucking sucks at the moment. Two weeks yeah, ago, to peek behind the curtains here in the official podcast online studio, for some reason, Discord just doesn't work for mobile users sometimes who can yeah. join the call but not hear the rest of us for whatever mm. reason. So fix that, please. Plus, it sounds like Oompa's proprietary tech over there has like AI generated features and stuff. Do you guys even record the episodes or does the AI just put them no. all together? Just create your personality. <laughs> yeah, there's a little guy scratch. in there. There's a little fella in there. <laughs> no, and, awesome. uh, yeah. So, uh, for those of you in the audience who don't know Oompaville, which you should, because he does absolute bangers, giant videos, Oompaville, how would you best describe your content for people who might not be familiar? Um, I would say, uh, classic sort of, sh- uh, shitpost type <laughs> news stuff, but very long form and incredibly yeah. drawn out. Very I, drawn out. See, shitpost, when I think of shitpost, maybe this is just my own, like, misconception, but when I think of shitpost, I think of, like, thrown together in five seconds and just uploaded, you know, willy-nilly mm. kind of, th- like, kind of vibe. You, your videos, yeah. uh very long and it seems like they take quite a bit of effort like obviously the new yeah, avocado he's, avocado he's trilogy. just being he's being a wholesome humble little goober it's definitely not shit posts <laughs> yeah so i'm not crazy it's not shit posts no, you're just lying to us you're not. just trying to yeah it feels like shit it feels like shit <laughs> <laughs> it feels like i'm just shitting but well yeah no. it's it's there's nothing too special about it i mean it's just youtube anyways yeah, but you do you, from from the videos that I've watched. Uh, you do like videos on internet figures that are kind mm-hmm. of worthy of talking about. Like Nick Carter Avocado was another good one that I already mentioned, and there's a bunch of other ones. Obviously, what's that kid's name who goes around like trying to get people in public to punch him? He's a streamer. You did a video uh, on him recently, Jack Doherty. Yeah, that that little guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a oh man, full- no, he's he's so yeah. annoying. Kai, you've awesome. probably seen him. Who's what's his name? Jack, Jack Doherty. Doherty. No, I mean they're so it's so common now these types. Every couple of weeks now, I hear like so and so went to Japan and got his dumbass arrested. Oh, true. <laughs> the other like, one, yeah, the IRL streamer, Johnny is... Somali, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Johnny Somali. Just happened. How does He's that keep happening? How... A guy. I don't know. I don't know why they keep letting them go either. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Jesus. And why is it so viable of a business that they can just go to jail and get out and do it all over again and make a profit on it? This should not be a viable business venture. No, I don't think it is, man. Am I the only, the only one who heard Jackson like fall to his death? What was that? My entire mic stand just exploded and <laughs> flew off its handle and Wait, just, just completely happened? Someone, destroyed someone my fell room. fell to their death? Who fell can to you, their death? Can you, can you hear me? Am I still... Yeah, yeah is the mic you, working? Yeah. Jackson just yeah. randomly screamed Jesus and then his audio cut oh, out for I did. some reason. Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> It'll be in the recording. Yeah, me neither. That's impressive noise reduction. Andrew heard, but no one else did in the conversation. Just continued. <laughs> <laughs> My microphone literally like jumped out of its stand and like smashed into the desk and like jump scared me. And yeah, uh, it's fine though. It looks, it looks like it's fine. Yeah. So Johnny Somali, he, 
I think he where, where was he recently? Was he in Israel? Yeah, he's in Israel. Yeah. Oh, Israel, yeah. Yeah, which is obviously a great location to travel to if you're a live streamer currently. They love pranks. Love them. Can't get enough of them <laughs> yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah. Where did he start? Does anyone know how he started? He Johnny? Started, no idea. Yeah. I don't know. I think his like big sort of when he came to the the forefront of the kick zeitgeist, it was in Japan. That was when everyone was rooting rooting for his downfall last year. Mm -hmm. So he's a pretty recent uh, phenomenon, if anything. Mm -hmm. If he was in the, just the last year, um, but yeah, hopefully there's some kind of he's put behind bars for a long time. Even the, even if there isn't any charges that like actually stick. Just lock him away. Just see what happens. I see. I think so, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, his, he has a Wikipedia. Um, and his uh, beginning is to the... His, his, his first controversy... It's just for his controversies. It's, uh, his first one was the Japan incident. <laughs> Let's see. So that's where it all started. Uh, this, yeah. this is like a new genre of like a arrest vlogger. Instead of a yeah, travel weird. vlogger, he just goes to places to get arrested. Do North Korea yeah. next, I guess. Well, he's on the world tour right now. I'm hoping he'll start doing, like, <laughs> prison reviews, since he's been in so oh. many penitentiaries. He could, like, actually do kind of interesting content reviewing each prison he's been to, but I doubt he will. He, Looks um, to be a stick in the mud, but isn't it usually <laughs> just, like, the holding cells that he's in? Which is, nope. like, he, he goes He goes to real big he's, boy jail. Yeah. Wait, really? He's awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, his grandfather apparently was the vice president of Puntland. Ah, yes, Puntland. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was like a betting Puntland thing. Puntland state of Somalia. Okay, well, that's not a real Somalia. He, he claimed to be a uh, child soldier as well. I don't know if you guys knew that. That's why he's called Johnny Somali. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. It's, it's, a, it's an actual country or like a state mm -hmm. of Somalia? I thought it was like a fucking yeah. company, like some kind of betting mm -hmm. company. No, I thought so too. <laughs> sports betting. Yeah, I mean, they well, probably control less lands funny. than like McDonald's and Amazon. <laughs> it's not like a real, real country. He claims to be a child soldier that I didn't know. It certainly doesn't show because anytime he gets his ass beat, he just like belly up. Very weak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a. Uh, it, it, that's on his wiki or his Wikipedia. It's like an actual Wikipedia page, not even his, his like YouTuber wiki or whatever. Mm. Cool. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> but he's used to fighting children. Like, if, if he's going to fight adults now, then it's obviously going to go down poorly because his entire training is against children. What, what, what do you think child soldier means, Jackson? It doesn't mean he's going around just hitting children. Yeah. That's how armies work. You, you divide the battlefield between the adults fighting and the kids fighting. Yeah. It's very common. Very fair. <laughs> Different weight classes. Mm -hmm. Classic punt land. But if you're a child soldier, if you're a child soldier, don't you go up against other child soldiers usually? Are like, you stupid? Are, are you like it? actually stupid? It's, it's not Lord of the Flies. <laughs> it's not like the Pokemon League, Jackson, where there's a senior and junior division. It's just kind of war, you know? I guess you yeah. shoot at everyone, yeah, but... I mean, the other warlord could also have his own child army. Exactly. And animals too, probably. I would arm gorillas. They're not going to, like, only have the child army fight the other child army. <laughs> yeah, they should. They can't that fight would be them. funny. They're that out of the age funny bracket. That would be pretty baller. What if, like, they need to have child soldiers because other warlords in the area have child soldiers and they're legally not allowed to, like, defend against oh, here the it is. other child soldiers? Sorry, okay, I was just going to say, Japan is really dropping the ball. His verdict was a fine of uh, 1400 bucks. Like translated, basically what? to US dollars is fourteen hundred mm. bucks. Of course, this is financially viable. He yeah, he probably yeah, makes he, that much off of his fucking way more. donations in mm. a single night. This is totally worth it. What's all this shit about Japan being like super harsh on people that I've heard about? Like, I know what the fuck. Especially that guy. Fuck that guy. Yeah. yeah. I know. Finally, someone actually deserves the like Baka Gaijin treatment. Where they just lock you up for 23 days without access to an attorney or anything. But no, they just let him go. He spent 90 days in jail. Yeah, but they let him out for like a yep. grand. 
he was he was in the jail cell like Bane training for the day that he gets out, <laughs> putting on the next live stream, trying to figure out how he could be even more annoying. Well, I mean, the training he did was just how to take more punches without passing out, because all he does is get his ass beat. He's like Ethan Ralph, but on kick. (laughs) (laughs) I think Ethan Ralph is on kick, isn't he? No, he's on YouTube, I think. think Well, also, also, he's not on kick anymore, either. This guy, I think, streams on YouTube now. Johnny does? Yeah, I don't think he's on kick anymore. True, he'll get banned quick on YouTube, I feel like. How does kick ban him, but not YouTube? Mm-hmm. I think it was probably like a court-ordered thing. <laughs> Listen to this. This is so annoying. So he got detained for, quote-unquote, disrespecting a female police officer. After his release, 16 minutes later, Ismail went live again on the same day. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just Johnny in and out. It doesn't even matter when he gets arrested. It's like a joke. It's like that Spongebob scene where they locked him up for like one second for stealing balloons. All right, you're free to go. Yeah. Uh, not, not, not a big fan. Not a big fan of him. Umpa, are you going to do a video on him? I think I've done like four on him. Oh, okay. Well, and they're all that over question. an hour long. Not really. But. I'll, I'll add them to my list. Oh, you haven't done them? Yeah. You're just joking? No, no, they're no, not he, over an hour long. He has long. done them. I have okay. done them, yeah. Okay. They're not over an hour, all, an hour long now. They're all of him getting punched in the thumbnail. <laughs> um, all right. Sweet. I'll add that to my list. Oh, I'll, I'll watch that. That sounds great. Charlie, did you have any anything that you wanted to say? About that guy? Just in general, yeah, just in general. Well, you said yeah, and then just said in general, like, is there more you want me to add about that guy or just change the topic? <laughs> just change the topic if you want. That's, okay. that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So Oompa. Down. Yeah, uh, yeah, you sound really down, Jackson. Don't let that mic really get to you. <laughs> in, are you worried about the season desist from that guy? From uh, Johnny Somali? Yeah. Do you think he's going to get you? Um, I hope he does. That'd be really awesome, I feel like. So yeah, I think not, that'd be a I wouldn't, fire court case. Yeah, it'd be fun. And um, he he repeatedly says that he has Jewish lawyers. I don't know what that means yep. or what he intends to mean by that. But he's he's making a lot of threats legally. Um, and he's a very... Uh, he likes just talking a lot, it seems like. So I, I, hope, I hope that we all incur his wrath to the maximum est- extent of what's possible. Um, because it's just more, you know, more free money and content. That's what I was thinking when he made those threats. I thought for sure you were like, just like fiddling with your thumbs, really praying that he actually does. (laughs) Yeah, I was. And that was also a month ago now at this point. Um, and I haven't seen anything. So yeah, I don't think he's still, he's still been streaming like every day, but I don't think he's trying to follow through on those idle threats anymore which is a real shame he kind of gave up yeah it's it's a shame because it's like a it's just a really easy i mean any any judge or jury i mean like what are they even gonna what is their how how could that possibly be anything ever that would have a positive effect on him you know he's just a bad guy and he like breaks the law all the time. He is a legitimately just bad guy. But so is like Jack Doherty again. These people just get away with it. I don't know why. I don't know how they get away with it at the end of the day. Yeah, because everyone's just kind of light on it. They don't take it seriously. I think that's really about it. Yeah, even the Japanese. Has the has yeah. the law just not catched up to streaming in general? No, they break they break laws. It's just they don't take it seriously for some reason streaming doesn't change anything if you're going around breaking laws yeah Yeah, but they just for some reason are very light on this guy and his cohorts that do similar things they probably think the foreigner is just not worth the hassle like uh, do we really want to deal with the like foreign governments here and the American embassy and whatnot? just get out of here true that is his excuse to come home He's always like, I'm American, I'm American, I'm American, as he's getting beaten up and thrown around. God, it's <laughs> so good. I thought he was from Beddingland or whatever. Is he 
is he not a loyal citizen of what was it called? Betland? Puntland. Punt Puntland. Puntland, yeah. No, he yeah. he's from Arizona. Oh. <laughs> Arizona Puntland? Bit- Hang on. There's still a chance. <laughs> True, yeah. A little little further west. Of, Just uh, a Puntland, wee bit, yeah. Just a tad. No. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I have a topic then. Uh, have you guys mm-hmm. heard about <laughs> the smelly Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments? How smelly yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments are getting? Uh, I've they, heard they, it's making <laughs> it's making headlines. They're actually like they're actually making uh, articles in the news about how Yu-Gi-Oh events are just some of the worst smelling places possible. This all started because someone made a uh, like a Twitter post talking about how. They were recently at a Yu-Gi-Oh event and there was a girl playing and she left and he said, like the person tweeting said that it was because no one was going easy on her in the matches. And then she made a follow up <laughs> post. She made a follow up post about it saying, no, actually I, I won a few matches. I lost a few matches. I, you know, I, it was, it, it wasn't that reason why I left early. It was because it was the smelliest fucking tournament I've ever been to. <laughs> and it was the most like, I, offensive smells possible and it has to be pretty fucking smelly if people are actually like leaving halfway through so has anyone here actually been to a Yu Gi Oh tournament or something similar i have uh locals yeah like at card yeah. shop i go in during like locals do they actually smell that bad or is, is your place no. pretty good no everyone smelled super normal here Charlie, I don't know about your experience, Andrew. Well, Charlie, yeah, we walk around. This is a thing he and I do every alternating Sunday. We go to the local store and just smell people there, specifically to get a whiff. <laughs> um, I don't think this is unlikely in any way. I think there's a very, very good cause for this happening in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, but I think that's the culture of socially inept men's hobbies in general. Like Smash tournaments yeah. is another one that had this problem. Magic the Gathering had this problem. Uh, there's probably a good handful of hobbies that appeal to, you know, guys like that that just don't care. That just go, oh, uh, I don't have to shower before I go here. No one cares. It's my buds. So There's a yeah, uh, yeah, hygiene I mean, clause in the Konami rulebook for there uh, is. Yu-Gi-Oh! As well yeah, as, there is. Know, as well as Smash Bros. <laughs> just, which is pretty you awesome. You should have made a case to DQ everyone. Get an easy win. <laughs> Not a bad idea, yeah. actually. You go in clean shaven and just clean. How do they test the shower claws? Do they have like a designated smeller who goes like, all right, we'll check your deck over here and uh, raise your arms over here, please. Just give it a big whiff. They probably just go by like the general feel of the atmosphere. I guess there's a a question I have for you guys. Have you ever like been around someone that smells so bad that you have to leave? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? I mean, not like prolonged, not anybody i knew just yeah. you know sometimes you stand in line or something or you're just in a same room or store you just have to move away from some people for sure interesting i don't know if to the point I that i have had- to leave but i have without a doubt been around people that just uh, like uh, visibly stank is the best way i can put it where <laughs> visibly. You get closer yeah, like, it's like, like the cartoon stink, like stink lines like cartoon stink lines coming off and what i mean is like yeah. they look like they smell and then when you get closer to them, Oof. they, in fact, do smell. And you just go, oh, I was can right. Just, yep, they smell bad. Can you describe someone who looks like they'd smell? Unfortunately, it's that same <laughs> uh, gaming stereotype. It's typically someone who looks two things, twofold. Overweight and greasy are usually the two, okay. 99% of the time. And it goes, yep, okay. I, I was right. It's that kind of person. The only person I've ever smelled that smelled so bad that I had to actually leave the room was a, a childhood friend, and mm. he stunk just like rot. His room smelled like rot. He oh, no. was rotten, oh, no. and I think they had something. He just had something wrong with him, or something like that. Um, and when he would work out, it was like disgusting. It was cartoon stink lines, and it was like a body odor, like a male just man smell, but times ten. With, yeah. with tones of just shit and taint as well. It, was it nasty. starts to weirdly smell when you have people like that, like an old warehouse or, or like a building mm-hmm. that hasn't been touched in a long time. You know what I mean? That kind of smell. Yep. It's like yep. weirdly just, settled. 
in a way, but it's still gross. <laughs> it's Call like it a it solid. Is. You're walking through a solid. Exactly. It's like a chunk. Uh, like a, the air is yeah. thicker. And mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm bringing up my example from earlier and all the experience because while not at Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, I did back in the day play Magic the Gathering tournaments. And there were people who would show up to that card store. You just knew would smell bad. You just knew. People knew. They would talk about Visibly. it. Visibly. Mm. And yeah, and you could see it. They were 90, probably 98% of the time overweight and greasy looking. And whatever compounds in there to make that happen, whatever it may be. Well, no, those, those visual cues are like indicative of a person who doesn't take light, like, uh, what's, what's the word? They don't, they don't put a lot of effort into like yeah, per presenting themselves hygiene. in the, yeah. you know, yeah. way. Yeah. given up at that point. Yeah, but there, yeah, yeah. it never, mm -hmm. never got so bad to make me leave a room. I don't think it ever got that bad. But there were definitely people who you just would avoid being around because it was like, oh, this guy fucking smells. Oh fuck! Did you just start mouth breathing instead of nose breathing? <laughs> I don't know if that would help because again, it was like actually no, was you'd thick. taste you it, then, wouldn't it. you? It was gross. Yeah, 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 that's bad too. I hate that too. When you're like, like in a dirty public toilet that stinks a lot, so you think, okay, I'll just mouth breathe. But then that's just yeah. even worse mm -hmm. because now I'm like eating the poo in the air. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's a lose lose. It's extremely has, lose lose because your mouth and your nose go down the same fucking pipe eventually. Like, what are you even doing? And <laughs> you're not a cop. Your nose anyways. is like a filter. Yeah, your nose is like a bit just, of a filter too, so it's protecting you. Yeah, true. You got your nose. That's true. Yeah. Little bits, but then you have shit particles stuck in your nose hairs. <laughs> but again, if you mouth breathe, you now have shit particles in your lungs. So great. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'd go nose hairs. Have but you guys ever smelled anything that smelled so bad it made you like want to spit or or like so, gag or so, anything like that? Yeah, oh, all the time. Yeah, when, all the time. If I see other people vomit or smell it, I didn't have that experience until recently, uh, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I went out. And there was like this guy dancing, like on a dance floor that I was dancing near. And the dude smelled so unbelievably revolting. It's like he just crawled out of like a swamp. And it was so unbelievably offensive that I started getting mad because I had, I literally had to vacate <laughs> the premises. It was so unbelievably foul. I had never smelt someone that smelled that bad. I always thought people were like exaggerating or being dramatic when they would be like, oh, P.U., ew, I got to get out of mm -hmm. here with that guy. What did he look like? He, he looked like a kind of normal dude. Like he didn't look weird or anything. He didn't, like, according to Andrew, like he didn't look like he'd smell like dog shit. But man, this guy mm. was like a pure oh, bag of dog that shit. Now. Yeah, this was a while ago. No, 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 you weren't there. It wasn't that. It was like literally three <laughs> weeks ago. It was super. He smelled new. that bad that Andrew smelled him through like the space time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's thought, right. Thought... On Saturday, that Methodist that <laughs> washed through Tampa. I thought, I thought you were talking about a different time. Okay. No, no, Fourth no. no. This, was, this was brand new. Uh, okay. Forty stink. <laughs> yeah. Where did he stink? Time bending stink. <laughs> yeah, yeah four, fourth dimensional. <laughs> That's his superpower. Uh, the worst smell like that I've had to deal with, and it was it was pretty bad, but I didn't even get the brunt of it. Is uh, my dad pretty much lost all of his sense of smell, but he was a home cook, and he would kind of just know how to cook stuff, and he was pretty good at it, and it was fine. But one time he was cooking a dinner for a family friend, and the turkey that he pulled out of the fridge had expired and he just didn't know because he couldn't smell and he forgot to check and it looked okay when he pulled it out like like when he pulled it out of the bag and was prepping it it looked fine but it wasn't and when he after he put it in the oven it was sitting in there for a while the entire fucking house just smelled like rotten meat it was fucking vile. I, it got so bad. Like, we, of course, pull it out and threw the turkey out and tried, like, deodorizers and all sorts of shit. We opened, like, every door, every window to get it out. But eventually what I had to do is get this, like, home remedy for bad smells. I had to get a pot and fill it with, like, coffee beans and cinnamon and mm. other shit and just boil it for 20 <laughs> minutes to fill the air with better smelling Bacon aroma. Soda. Yeah, like all sorts of shit, just to cl like soak up all the stinky air. And I took that carcass and I threw it in the garbage can outside. And I was like, ah, oh, job done. Fuck this. And when I took other garbage out later that day, 
it was a brand new colony for flies. There were hundreds mm. and hundreds and hundreds of flies on the yeah, garbage can. No, I, I had no idea yeah. it'd be that bad. I like it had a lid on it, and I was like, "Oh, it'll be fine." It was it was nightmare. It was like a scene out of a horror oh, movie. They'll find it was their terrible. Way yeah, yeah. No, bins are bad. Yeah. So that was probably Death the worst stinks. smell I've ever dealt with in my life. It was fucking. It lasted for like six, seven hours. Like it was bad. I, I had a very good friend in high school who would terrorize the girls in class, like tease them with a stink. And he was like generally a clean guy and almost vain. He would like get nice perfumes and shower a lot and groom himself. But in class during school hours, he wouldn't care. And during between classes, he would just play basketball and so vigorously that he would come back soaking in sweat. And I remember we were like sitting next to each other. He was my whatever you call it, like benchmate, I guess, in class. Uh, where they're like Senpai. divided into two students for each bench and desk and in mm. front of us would be uh, two girls that we knew and he would like tap me on the shoulder oh he also never brushed his teeth after breakfast and he just comes uh. to school and sometimes he would tap me on the shoulder and say Kaya watch and then he would quietly exhale to the front towards the girls and the girls without turning back or hearing anything they would just yell ew and immediately get up and just be completely <laughs> terrorized <laughs> by the foul breath that somehow permeated into their noses without any sort of like other hints. It was just their sense of smell. That must have been so bad. He must have been... <laughs> it was pretty fucking bad and I told him every day, you stink. <laughs> and he thought it was funny. Which it yeah, was. Yeah, he clearly knows. You know. Jesus Christ. Oh, good times. What a fucking man. You know those videos of like the horse's feet and cattle, cattle's feet, like abscesses being dug out of their mm -hmm. feet? Mm -hmm. Dude, that just, yeah. I was thinking, I just, I, I've been seeing those a lot lately and talking about the whole smell thing. Uh, I used to be a farrier and the horse's feet, so that would make me literally have to spit, like walk away and spit when they would have really bad abscesses that would just like, they were full of cheese and cream and oh it was so mm. fucking disgusting mm. and it would smell and you could taste it and you could you could taste it all day and then you could like because <laughs> you, you have to sit over it and do work on it for a long period of time uh and it just like the smell of it and the the just it would stay in you and eventually you're um uh like this is a phenomenon i think my dad made this up and it like uh it was a psyop when i was a kid but he told me that <laughs> that smell when you would fart, your farts would smell like it for a few days, and I still feel like that that is an actual thing that happened when I was <laughs> when I was uh, an apprentice farrier. <laughs> I would dig out an abscess and then have to deal with the disgusting taint smell of a horse's rotten foot, and then my <laughs> farts would smell like that for days. Wait, so the idea the idea that your dad <laughs> created is that like if you smell smells, they get absorbed into your farts yeah. for the future. Oh, yeah. So your farts it's have disgusting. the memories of your smells. That's it's like awesome. Osmosis. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's pretty it's awful. Fucked up. Yeah. Well, at least they're helping animals. I have a, I know somebody in like healthcare where she makes prosthetics and she sometimes tells me stories about how like really obese people with diabetes will come in because their legs are basically falling off and, you know, for like shoe inserts and stuff. And they'll say, well, I can't feel my feet, but I kind of feel something poking almost, but it hurts. And she'll peel their fucking shoes off that are like five sizes too small because they're all swollen from edema. And she's just like, half the time their feet are just literally rotting. Like there yep. will be fissures yeah. under their feet that are just yeah. split in half and molding. And it stinks so fucking bad. She says, and they literally cannot smell it because uh, they can't even bend down far enough to tie their own shoes. So their own senses aren't assaulted by it. But like everyone else can f uh, well, smell it the moment they enter the room. I think if like if you're those smelly people, like the ones that uh, a Andrew and Charlie were describing, I think eventually you just get nose blindness. Like you actually just become used yeah, to for sure. the smell. Yeah. So it doesn't become offensive. Smell more. You don't know. That's why that's why you need someone you need like someone brave enough to be like, yo, you fucking stink, dude. You need that you dedicated right smell from the, the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament just to like check in on yeah, you. Yeah, that should now be and like then. a job. Because like nobody wants to be the rude guy saying, Hey, you kinda have really bad breath. Stop talking to us and mm. go brush your teeth, bitch. Because then you're kinda the jerk, especially if you say, Look, you're fat and stink. You know, you don't want to get fired <laughs> from your job because now you're in trouble with HR if you take that kind of lip with your secretaries but I mean, there should be like a dedicated i don't even know who just some guy 
the janitors should be going around like Febreze spraying the stinky people. Like, <laughs> I wish there was a, like a card, oh, no. like a socially acceptable way. Imagine there was a card, like a business card. And during conversation, you, you like sneak it to the person or hand it to the person. And it says, excuse me, you smell bad. Please take That's care so of the much following worse. area. How is it worse? Yeah, that is very passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it's so much worse. I'd r- I'd rather just someone say, I'd rather someone just say, yo, just you you smell a bit at the moment, and then I'll be like, oh shit, okay. Yeah, and then I I'll think go fix it. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have yep. an idea. How about a sign that you tape to their back that says, "Kick me, I stink." Oh, that's <laughs> really good. Yeah, that's and they'll figure good. it out once they get kicked a lot. Yeah, should implement a a, a social credit system. On hy- oh. based on hygiene. Oh, I like that. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool. Like reward people, people for get, good hygiene. Yeah, yeah, like higher interest rates if you stink. <laughs> huh. Oh, we could give every but person we'll need, on like, the planet those like restaurant buzzers, and if yours vibrates, it means you smell bad, and you have to go take care of it. Ooh, yeah. Well, can't they just build that stuff into like a modern smart smartwatch, like an Apple Watch with a smellometer built in that just detects hey, your skin is stinky. It's sweaty, go shower, beep, beep. That would help. Hmm. That can be done. Yeah. We have the technology. Can can watches smell? Can AI even detect what would smell bad? If you gave it like a a smell sensor. Yeah, and programmed it. Yeah, but how would it determine what's good and bad? Well, you would train it on, like, you would have it smell dog shit first and say, this is bad. And if <laughs> yeah. I smell like this, tell me it's bad. And the AI it goes rogue and it. really loves the smell of dog shit, just <laughs> constantly asks for more dog shit to smell. <laughs> it was its first smell, so it has fond <laughs> memories of it. Oh, wait, check this out. GameSense is a new AI device that lets you smell game worlds while playing. It's yeah. for a mark. Yeah. This here, actually. There was also, I think, another one that crazy. lets you taste them. Right? Wasn't it like a pad that could make any taste? Like a well, cable? That sounds annoying. Game what? worlds. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to taste like the zombies I'm shooting. Unless well, it's like blue Why raspberry. would you want to smell them either, though? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's like... Okay, so out of the box, the game scent includes six scents. Gunfire. Okay. Explosion. Okay. Racing. Sure. Clean air. Whatever the fuck that means. Storm and forest. So this is just, I mean, uh, wait, it's just like a room deodorizer kind of thing. It's not actually, it's just like set yeah. sense. It doesn't sound like it's actually creating anything. Well, yeah, according to this article, it just detects what is on screen. And then I guess it like shoots gunfire. Yeah, that's lame. That's nothing. That's lame. That's lame. Still kind of immersive, I guess. No. Nah. I was expecting more. Is there from AI. any any practical application for it? I, I think the best I can think of is like a mystery game, and you have to smell a clue, <laughs> and that helps. Like that's Ooh. the best I can think of being practical. Well, weren't they trying this with theaters at some points? Didn't they have forty theater experiences or something? Long, oh, yeah, long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, long time yeah. ago. Whatever happened to Bugs that? Life? Uh, Shrek 4D. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking oh man, Shrek 4D was awful. Like you sit down and like it sprays Shrek's fart directly in your face. Yeah. I hated that. I actually, <laughs> I think, w- w- was that one of the first like horrifying experiences of my life? Maybe I-, I can't remember. But there was a 4D experience where I I just started crying during it, and I begged my mum to take me out because it was so bad. It was so <laughs> fucking like scary and awful, and the senses were overwhelming. What was it? I hated that. I don't remember. It might have been Shrek, but I think that what might have been too late. So it was something before Shrek, maybe. Um, yeah, I just rem- remember being so scared that I actually like started crying and begging my mom Aww. to leave. Oh, I've because been there. The stink. I, it was like everything. It was the senses. It was like the chair moving scared me. Everything scared me. It was too many senses. For one <laughs> how old were you? Oh my God, what a little bitch. <laughs> yeah. When, how old were like you when six. you were a little bitch? It was probably like five, six, I think. Yeah. They should have strapped You're, you in. Just forced yeah. you through the entirety of it. I, I I can meet you in solidarity for rides being scary like that, Jackson. I went to a, a field trip to like an IMAX science place. You know, back in the day when like the only real place you could watch IMAX besides a few theaters was like, you go to the science museum and they show educational shit on it. Um, mm. I think I was in like third grade. I don't remember. And it was back when 3D was really new. And the way that you had to watch 3D was you literally had to strap goggles to your head to watch it in IMAX so that you could see it right. And I just found that process so freaky and 
it was all dark in that theater that I started crying and I had to leave. <laughs> I was like a little bitch about yeah. it. So I, I know I get it's the awful. idea of being a little kid and like nothing's happening, but just the idea of that room and all that stuff going on and you know different sensory shit like the 3D and whatnot. It's like oh no, this is terrifying. This is the scariest thing I've ever done. I did not have a good track record with like cinemas when I was a kid. Like I remember there was another situation where it was like a sc- it wasn't a school thing because it was before school. It was like a kindergarten kind of expedition, whatever you call them. Where, where we go out and we do field stuff trip. outside of the yeah field trip that's it thanks mm-hmm. we went out to the cinema and i literally like i was too nervous and scared to like do anything so i i pissed my pants in the <laughs> cinema because <laughs> i was too afraid to ask to go to the toilet oh man i was such what a little worry? bitch i don't know like 15 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. i was i think i was like six as well i think those happened around the same time if i recall correctly no, well, yeah. that's fun. You just made it worse and even more immersive, though, on the bright side. I think. Well, no, that one wasn't 4D, so there was no, <laughs> there was no oh. immer- other immersive <laughs> elements to compete with. That was just a genuine cinema experience, and I pissed my pants. But I think I was pretty like creative and smart about how I handled it. I didn't tell anyone, and I just accidentally spilled water on myself. Like I just like tipped oh, over no. my water bottle. Oh, that's kind I was of like, genius. Whoops. All right. I, I'll tell you right now, your five-year-old ass did not outsmart all the adults who can <laughs> like smell the piss reek on you. Yeah. <laughs> they probably just saw a little piss boy pissed himself again. Okay, sure, Jackson. Yes, your slurpee just spilled. Uh call his mother. <laughs> no one no one said anything. I feel like they're like duty bound to say something <laughs> if they notice a child pissing themselves, right? Well, was this like the eighth time you pissed yourself? Because then they'd probably just stop doing no, no, no. shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, this and were you wearing time. diapers underneath? <laughs> nope. I don't know. I went so they just pants. let you walk around with just your pants sloshing, leaving. Yeah, they didn't say. Trail. They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. Huh. Uh, like I spilled the water, and I was like, "Oh no, I spilled water on myself," or something along that effect. And then they were like, oh no, okay, well, just go dry yourself. And so I did. And then, I don't know. No one complained. Mm. We went to McDonald's afterwards. No one there complained. <laughs> uh, now I feel like you're, there's a non zero chance that you're always soaked in piss and not telling us. <laughs> yeah, I'm used Next to it. That's how we meet. Dry pee. Nice yellow pants, Jackson. Thanks. Thanks. What about, what about you guys? Do you have any like super formative embarrassing stories from school expeditions or field trips? No. I was really. homeschooled. Trips, no. <laughs> Wait, you were homeschooled? Yeah, I was homeschooled, so I have no I have no no formative experiences. Did you have a crush all. on the from... teacher? <laughs> no. <Classic. laughs> you ever pee yourself in class? Yeah, probably. It was likely. It was allowed. I was allowed to do whatever the fuck I wanted. Yeah. Do whatever I wanted. What is homeschooling like? I've never actually met anyone that was homeschooled. I think that's like an American phenomenon more so. Yeah, uh, I, I'm definitely a unique case of homeschooling for sure. A lot of my quote unquote homeschool friends <laughs> were uh, <laughs> probably would be excluded via the hygiene laws um, <laughs> implemented by Konami and um, the Smash Bros. Tur- <laughs> tournaments, to be honest, but uh, my mine specifically was like a private school, homeschool, so it was very difficult. Um, and eighth and ninth grade were combined, and eleventh and twelfth grade were combined. So it was just like a sort of an accelerated path, and I moved a lot as a child. Um, so it was just like a convenience thing for my parents, basically. And my mom is a teacher. Oh, your mom's a teacher. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, then. well, she has a teaching degree. What do you mean by private, private school? I thought homeschool just meant like your parents teach you at home. He just means it, curriculum. Yeah, it's a private uh, curriculum. So it's like a, yeah, it's just a, I don't know. You pay for it and it's a little bit more, uh, instead of getting your books from the 1980s, you get them from the 90s. So Whoa, little, fancy. Yeah, okay. a little more... God a little more high tech, especially in Virginia. Especially in Virginia. Virginia's got a pretty bad, pretty bad school system. Or at least yeah. it used to when I was a child. Where I was. Mm. So. How do you make friends when you're homeschooled? You just don't. Oh. <laughs> okay. You, <laughs> you, had, you had the one yeah, you smelly just... friend and that was it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I literally, quite literally have, I had one friend as a child. I had one friend my whole life, basically, until I was, until I got on Discord, pretty much. How the fuck did yeah, that work? I had, did you get groomed? I did, actually. I, I used to make, there's this guy that I, rem, I was literally groomed by a veteran, a disabled veteran <laughs> on the Minecraft forums. This guy fucking tried to get me to hang out with him all the time. And I was like, this is cool. I'm making friends. And I was like 15. I just graduated high school. So I was like not in the, in the time to be like, I was very well adult enough to be groomed, but I was making mods on Minecraft on the Minecraft forums. And this guy thought that I was a child, I guess. Um, and he, uh, he was desperately trying to get me to like, I mean, he was flirting with me. I had no idea. You had, well, oh, how'd you I figure mean. it out? Yeah. How'd you figure it out? Uh, I didn't figure it out until like just this la most recent year. I was thinking and I was like, man, that's very inappropriate. That was a 35 year old man basically inviting me to come hang out with him all the time. Uh, like f he was buying me a plane ticket and I was like, no. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, how old were you? Uh, 15. Yeah, okay, so you were not at all. <laughs> you were prime grooming age. This guy wanted yeah, to fly you across the country <laughs> and you turned him down? That's so rude. What the Dude, fuck, man? Yeah. I, I told my dad that, and he was like, what? What are you, like, why are you talking to this guy? Can and I, I like, come? I why, are, why haven't you left <laughs> yet, son? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> why aren't you out the door? Adventure away. You told yeah. your dad? Yeah, well, because it was, it was just like a business thing, I thought. I thought everyone that I was interacting <laughs> with uh, on, because I was, I just graduated high school. So I was like in, I had a job and did stuff. Your, uh, did your special not, did your special friend not give you the speech of, you know, the stays between us, your parents don't have to know, they won't understand. It didn't go that far. It didn't go that far. And he never knew what I looked like. And he was probably just very lonely. But, uh, oh yeah, it, it was weird. It was very strange. You ever reconnect with him Great. after all these years? Give him a call, see what's up. <laughs> he still Dude. watches his videos with a smile on his face. He's yeah. like, that's the guy. That's the guy I did that. I, I brought him up. I taught him those things back then. <laughs> it was all me that did this. That's really funny. Uh, that is so fucking funny. Do you, wait, could you find his like, username and information, or is it lost to time? I straight up know exactly what it is. Let me, let me see if he's still <gasps> on... Uh, yeah, can you uh, see if he's still active? See. Wait, is this like a public service announcement? Just say his address <laughs> and phone number on the show and we can verify. You should pretend to still be 15 be like, hey, look, so I drank <laughs> this potion, I'm still 15. <laughs> can I still take that flight up? What? Yeah. Just out of curiosity, how, how old would he be today? Like, how long ago was this? That was in 2011. Um, so that way he would be, I don't know, 13 years old or so. 48? Oh. Ooh. You'd almost be his age when he was grooming you. So I don't know. Okay, so I can't find him. I think his account's b b uh, gone, but I know his name, though. We could use Wayback Machine um, or something, surely. Yeah. yeah. You could also check the sex offender registry of Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> he, was in, he was in Arizona. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Damn, he travels um, quick. I feel like you'd be doing like a... A PSA kind of letting people know about this guy regardless if mm -hmm. he's actually a risk but maybe it's been too long maybe it's been like 12 years and he's already he's already uh done what, stuff rehabilitated sadly. well no <laughs> yeah. probably not rehabilitated I, I just thought it was business though I just thought it was you know that's just how people were what gave you the impression that it was business yeah yeah well it was on the Minecraft forums and I was he like he downloaded <laughs> my mod of course so it was just like, I was talking about mods and Minecraft and the content of my mods on Minecraft. And then he was like, hey, we should hang out. <laughs> yeah, the Minecraft forum is basically LinkedIn for children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should check if he's on Roblox. I assume that's where you prowl for Dude. kids nowadays, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's probably where he's at right now. Yeah. Poor guy. Just kidding. <laughs> Were you guys almost groomed? Does anyone else have any grooming stories of when they were groomed? <laughs> Andrew was. He told us about it. Oh, yeah. Well, I, he disagrees yeah. with I wasn't, but okay. Yeah. Um, oh, no. What, what, that, that, like, 28-year-old woman when you were, like, 16 or whatever? She was 24. Yeah, I was 18. And then we oh, dated just, for a while. Yeah. Oh, I'm misremembering a lot of those yeah. details. <laughs> yeah, then. the fans do, too, but it's okay. Groomed. 
totally groomed, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, I, I I think I was also groomed <laughs> in a Minecraft server as well, <laughs> Caleb. Which is, yeah. I think you're unlocking the memory in me. Now. <laughs> I was. It all comes I would have been like, yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. I'm gonna start crying and pissing my pants <laughs> on on this call again. Um, no, it was like I think I would have been like twelve. I think that's when Minecraft was popular, and it was just a Minecraft server, and the the owner of the server took a real liking to me and gave me like moderator status in the server and, uh, and stuff like that, and then added me on Steam and would just constantly like message me about how I'm doing mm. and stuff. And I think he was also a veteran for some reason. Is that just a popular a popular thing? You said yours was a veteran as well, right? Mine was a disabled veteran, yes. Mm. Okay, well, mine wasn't disabled as far as I know, but he was a veteran, so um, yeah, he had some. He, he had like a username like Sergeant Trooper or something like that, and then he would just mm. message me and Sergeant yeah, Trooper of the Thirteenth Cobblestone Corps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was twelve then, uh, and he would have been like probably late twenties, so. It's it's weird how you don't look at those situations when you're that age and you're and you're like this is normal. We're just playing Minecraft. We're just having fun. We're just socializing. But then you look oh, back yeah. at it now and you're like, holy fuck! Why was this guy talking to a twelve year old at all? Yeah, like it's crazy. I think that I just uh, yeah. I equated danger with things that were bad. So like, you know, because I could have definitely beaten him up. I was fully grown at fifteen for sure, and I was in great <laughs> shape. I could have whooped his ass. Was I was a fair. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and he was disabled, which I probably shouldn't say that, but he, um, yeah, so I didn't, I never felt in any danger, so I never equated it to, uh, anything negative necessarily. It was just business for me. It wasn't business for him, but yeah, it's like looking back, yeah. it's like, you're not victimized by it necessarily, but you're like, that's just, no, no, no. that's just strange, you know, that's weird. Yeah, it was weird. weird man. Odd yeah. behavior for sure. Yeah, it's kind of like when mm -hmm. Charlie goes on Roblox nowadays and trolls kids in there. It's like, that's weird. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why are you what playing are you Pokemon about? <laughs> United and bullying kids? Well, it's not like the grooming side of it. It's like, why are you bullying kids? <laughs> well, they because they need to. That's they funny. need to get bullied. Yeah, they need to get bullied. <laughs> I agree. What do we feel? How do we feel about cyberbullying? Love it. But also, there's a gigantic <laughs> difference between fucking with kids and fucking kids. You can't just... Oh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I just think doing anything with kids is weird at our age. Like, anything. It's not doing uh, yeah. anything with kids if you're beating them in Pokemon Unite. If anything, you're just <laughs> bullying them <laughs> you're before going they're out after your school way. hours. That's the only reason you play Pokemon Unite, is to bully the kids. Yeah, it's called Discipline, Jackson. Their parents aren't giving it to them. It's up to us, <laughs> the gamers. It's the same with, like, uh, what, what was the other game? Stumble Guys. Like, they're all just kids. Oh, You're no, those so aren't happy kids when anymore. You those are, those are fucking esports athletes. <laughs> those, those guys are good. <laughs> they grew up. Yeah, my argument isn't so much, like, this is grooming or this is the same level of grooming. It's just, like, you're putting all your, <laughs> like, focus on... Beating kids. Okay, well, how about this? You know what's weird, Jackson? You being into children's hobbies, then you want to be a kid and what, be around Lego? kids with your fucking Legos and your dinosaurs <laughs> and your your Star Wars. That's weird. Oh no, it's well, I don't, I don't play, I don't play Lego. First of all, I don't play Lego, but I don't, I don't <laughs> you use Lego with children. Lego, you don't play it. Oh yeah, yeah, no, you're the architect, of course. <laughs> yeah, you're, the, you're the builder, exactly. You can Construct Lego. You're not flancing about <laughs> yeah. with your toys. No, it's behind the scenes. It, it's not. It's not. It's not. I don't do it with kids. I don't. I, it's nothing to do with kids. It's all for me. Yeah, but you can relate to kids because <laughs> of it. You, well, you play children's games. You play Stumble Guys and shit like that. You relate to kids then. It's the same shit. What's Stumble Guys. Stumble it, Guys. It's like it's a better Stumble Guys. guys. Yeah, okay. but it's better. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fun to just dominate somebody in a video game. It's completely different from... It. I mean, I guess I don't know. To what extent does Charlie's obsession with poning noobs extend? <laughs> poning noobs. Poning noobs is a fucking in. classic. I know I'm old. I'm myself, noobs. But... Poning noobs. <laughs> You've become the fellow kids meme.
Hello it's kids. Like it hello makes kids. me a fellow boomer, if anything. Boomer. Yeah. How old are all you guys? 29. Uh, how old am I? 27. 32. I'm 32. 32. Are you guys the same age? I thought Kai yeah. was older. Nah, I think Kai is yeah, older via months. 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 <laughs> yeah. I think Kai Jackson, is older via uh, attitude. What's your, what's your uh, birthday? Who's the youngest here? Me or you? Uh, January, so I'd probably be older. Yeah, you're older. Nice. What, 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 I'm the you? baby, guys. I'm 27. August 29th, 1996. I feel I'm a fire rat. I'm Wait, a fire you're 1996? Rat. Wait, yeah. 1996? That makes you 28. Yeah, you're older than I, me. August. August. I'll be 28 oh. in August. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't hear the August yeah. date. I just heard the 1996. Well, <laughs> Well, then you're definitely older than me. Yeah, six you're, month. Uh, Jackson, why you're, you're did you invite this? So older. Why did you invite mm. this baby on our show? I don't want to be accused. Well, I'm the baby. <laughs> <laughs> this baby, twenty-seven year old baby. So if you're the baby, you invited like a fetus on our show, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. Makes us look. He's bad. the zygote. I'm the deuterosome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This now sounds like the comment section whenever like DiCaprio upgrades to another supermodel. Is every single time like people talking about the new twenty three year old supermodel as if she's a toddler that he just kidnapped. <laughs> yeah, you sick fuck. But do you, do you guys think it's strange that Leonardo DiCaprio? I don't think it's strange that he dates young chicks like you know tw- no between it's 20 and 25 strange. he's just like that's not strange, it's Wait, not he's, strange he's a guy that likes attractive women obviously but do you think it's strange that he dumps them all at 25 it's like he's got a hard limit i feel like that's no. just yeah, it's probably just like a huge coincidence though i don't think he has like a clock Is that it? counts down till 25 <laughs> doomsday it doesn't you seem like so. a coincidence when it's happened like six times <laughs> <laughs> i just i I'm kind of befuddled by the word strange in there. You could argue it's morally wrong and just no. kind of sleazy, but strange, not at all. No, he's just a fucking, he's a playboy. It's just it happens all the time with rich dudes <laughs> when they hire like escorts and call girls and women to hang out with them. Do you think they ask and make sure she's over 35 so it's age appropriate? Like, no, they hire like no, I get- 18, 19, 20 year olds because that's what men want. Uh, yeah, no, I get attractive, powerful celebrities are going to date what they perceive as attractive and usually that's between 20 and 25 yeah. but like it's that what i meant by strange is that it's specifically 25 like he's actually got it down to a science do they are they all like of the age of 25 when he breaks up with them yeah, yeah. They, they 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 are 20 so mm-hmm. like the chart is like whenever they hit 25 that's when the relationship ends i don't think he's had a girlfriend that goes over 25 that's what i mean it's it's strange like, maybe his attorneys are just using the same templates, like the same NDA templates for all of his girlfriends. Like, okay, here, yeah. uh, by your 25th age, you must vacate the mansion, milady. Oh, this, <laughs> no, this, this is nothing. This is the statistical nothing. So they are, I found the chart. It's apparently yeah, on got Reddit. the chart up too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nothing at all because the whole point they're pointing out is, oh, by the time they hit 25, he breaks up with them, never goes beyond 25. So what? You could do the same thing by saying they never go to 26. They never go to 27. It's just the upper limit. It's just where everyone happened to stop. He broke up with people when they were 20, 21, 23, like all these different ages. It's not like every one of them is at 25. That'd be a weird coincidence. Yeah. But I also- only, only three of them hit 25. It's nothing. Once you realize the bitter, like, implications and undertones of the comment sections that usually yell at him, e- even this graph says, Leonardo DiCaprio refuses to date a woman over 25. Like, it's mandatory, as if this is like a war criminal <laughs> that they caught red-handed or something. Like, okay, that's just what he does. Refuses to date. He doesn't have some fucking God-given mandates that he has to. <laughs> <laughs> he signed a contract, yeah. It's not his duty. No one bets an eye when, like, a, <laughs> an older woman, like a 30 or 40 year old woman, uh, dates like a 20 year old dude. I usually think it's epic. Yeah, but how often does that happen, to be fair? Yeah, it doesn't happen yeah. often. And also, let's, really let's flip the script the again. Top of my head of one. Let's flip the script again. Which of these women is going to hate dating Leonardo DiCaprio? Like, I don't think any of them are like, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, he's interested in me. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. You know, these—I bet you all I mean, of them wanted too. to be in the relationship. 
always this attitude that they're these hapless victims that he must have picked up from some orphanage or something. Like, no, they're all supermodels and shit in Hollywood. They know the yeah. game. They know what they're getting themselves into. These aren't little toddlers. Yeah. They know they've got until 25 and then they're out. They're all <laughs> over 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 25 is when they're all washed up. Why would you? I mean, I assume they're not dating. I mean, they're not dating for a, like a permanent relationship. Then, if they all have the understanding that this is over once I hit that age, like I can't keep putting it off. Was there a question in there? No, that yeah. was until then you can milk it. Uh, well, let me let me go ahead and address what I said earlier. They're dating Leonardo DiCaprio. Of course, they <laughs> yeah. take that opportunity. I date yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. I would date Leonardo. Yeah, I would too. Everyone in this call would date Leonardo. Di- Everyone listening to this yes, call would date sir. Leonardo DiCaprio. It's Leonardo oh, to yeah. fucking Caprio. Of course I would. Well, you don't have to be everyone. It's not like if you're just a Hollywood bimbo. Jackson, if you were 21 and you got told, okay, for the next four years, <clears> hard <throat> limit, just four years, but you get to spend those four years in lavish luxury, is the billionaire's lifestyle almost. And yeah. it's and it's with like a good looking person. It's not like you're with some like it's revolting with... blob. Yeah, he's attractive and he's got yeah. money. It's with a man who's won he's an Academy Oscars. Award and three hundred million dollars. I don't think any woman. Would I don't turn know that him. Down. Well, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like, turn you don't it have down, to know it's... him. None of these women know him. Who gives a shit? I don't know the guy, but I don't know the guy, but I liked him in Titanic. When you see the rich Saudi Arabian oil tycoon and he's like 72 years old and his girlfriends are the hottest supermodels on the planet, do you really think they're with him for his personality? Really? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Probably awesome. (laughs) It turns out he's actually a great guy and they really respect him and love him. He's a nice guy. I love being a Dubai porta potty. Oh man! How can you? How could you ever be in a like a genuine loving relationship when you're at that level? Then they don't want a loving relationship. They want a comfortable relationship. And when you're with someone who has infinite opportunity and wealth, you're that's it. That's all you need. I you're think done. you could probably find a loving relationship at that level too, though, Jackson. The, to be fair, the Saudi prince. again. He's oh no, I was still using DiCaprio. Oh, the, the so Saudi prince, the yeah, maybe, but it's probably far harder than with Leonardo. Like, Leo is only 44. That's not even that old, relatively speaking. And he's still acting. He's still oh, the popular. 25. He's still outgoing. He's still a human being. He's not just like a husk of money and former fame, yeah. you know? Yeah. No, I, I get I get why people would be attracted to him. I'm just saying, like, Leonardo DiCaprio, I think... Like, if I was Leonardo DiCaprio and I was being spoken of like that, then I would find it impossible to ever find some, like, a relationship built on love instead of just, holy shit, they just want, they uh, want yeah, me because I'm uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Now you have the dilemma and, of every celebrity yeah. and why lots of celebrities well, choose yeah. to date other celebrities because it's hard to find a genuine connection at that status level. And that's not just a Leo problem, that's an every celebrity problem. That was deep, actually. You're super right. Damn. Yeah. It's one, thing yeah. you, it's one of those things you trade for fame. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just hard to have an authentic relationship at that level of just fame and power. Even if you date other Hollywood people, that's like, you're probably better off just dating a, l- a random hobo and connecting with them like another <laughs> Hollywood psychopath. A random hobo. Just look at the Smiths. <laughs> I was going to say the luckiest ones are people who just have their partners that they met from before they were famous Mm -hmm. or just for a very long time. Like, you know how everybody always makes fun of um, Keanu Reeves' wife? Which is so fucked up. What? They do? Yeah, Yeah, but they seem happy. And who's the other one? I think Pierce Brosnan is also married to his wife for a very, very long time. Pierce Brosnan gets so much shit for some reason, like from the alpha males, even though he embodies everything that they preach. Like, he has this wife, at, like, they've been together for a super long time, they've both been super faithful, still super in love, and yet the alpha males are like, this is what happens when wokeness takes over, and it's them, like, 30 years in the future after they've been married for so fucking long, and they're both old and a little chunky. They're aged, it's Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, they, are you they got older. to age? Yeah. <laughs> what do you expect? They're, and they're still in love, like, that's exactly no. what you guys talk about. He was meant to break up with her at 25 and then start the cycle again and just keep doing that perpetually. With right. Oh, women. true. Maybe Leo's after true. those sweet, sweet adrenochromes to keep himself young. 
Oh, and the adrenochrome decays when they hit 25. Yeah, he found the golden limit. Ooh. He he found when it doesn't work date. anymore. Yeah. That's probably that's probably like the most annoying thing I see in like celebrity gossip circles is people's inability to just let people age. Like aging is some kind of like <laughs> social yeah. faux pas at this point. It's like what do you expect? Yeah. You it's, you grow old, you get comfortable, and you start losing. What, okay, but like, you have to attraction. keep in mind these people's entire reality is having to look pretty. Just look at Madonna mm -hmm. and how terrified she is of just being a grandma. So she's like on stage with a literal grandma walker as she's trying to yeah. gyrate her ass. No, grandma. when you're like desperately trying to like hold on to it, that's also kind of like sad yeah. and, and depressing. But like aging gracefully, like Pierce Brosnan and such. And just aging, and that's that's another point on it. It's so for much it. worse for women than men. Like there are so many male celebrities who get older, and it's like George Clooney, Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan, all these actors. Where it's like, ah, they're old and charming, and they've aged with grace, and they're really confident men. But I yeah. am struggling to think of really old women who are known for the same thing. Like, even Betty White, for example, the most old, beloved celebrity, she was beloved because she was funny and, like, quaint, but not because she was, like, suave and charming and shit. <laughs> it's never I've got a good example for you. That's not true. Like, uh, Selma Hayek. I think she's in her mid-50s. Uh, Let me see. Yeah, she's yeah, 50, 57. Well. Yeah, she's 57, and she still gets that. Oh. Shoo. There might be she's examples, old. sure. Yeah, I would say the stereotype still leans towards men aging with grace over women. Then, in general, well, I think yeah, it's just I mean, we got salt women, and pepper. Women yeah. are more because uh, women, unfortunately, like it's tied to their identity a lot more, especially growing like, yeah in that world. So they desperately try to hang on to it, and it and they're judged kind of for their looks more commonly than men are. Yeah. in in negative ways. Yeah, unfairly. Yeah. Not if you ask, uh, what's his face? What's that billionaire who's like optimizing his urine and shit to stay young? And he was oh, like, Brian oh, Johnson. Brian Johnson. Yeah, that Brian Johnson. Johnson. Whatever you want it. Where he had a child just so he could sap his life juice every month. <laughs> that guy's a baller. I love that, that shit. That guy's awesome. I'm gonna I, do that. I love watching that guy's stuff. It's fucking fascinating. It is actually very interesting. Yeah. And I'm very curious if he does discover something fucking actionable besides yeah. eating 180 pills for breakfast every day oh not even that <laughs> have you seen where he breaks down his morning smoothie and it's like the most gross uh -huh. fucking sludge concoction on the planet oh, god yeah yeah <laughs> and he drinks one every day i ate it <laughs> you had it you had it i've i've i followed his blueprint blueprint i followed his blueprint for 90 days <laughs> And I felt terrible. Holy shit. For the shit. first week, oh, then I felt no. great. I felt great after that's, that, though. Yeah, it's just your body, like, acclimatizing. Adjusting. Yeah. It. It's just got to adjust. The, I, yeah. Wow. The only thing that I that I continued out of it, though, is the breakfast thing. The, the smoothie for breakfast. You can, if you kind of, like, tweak it a little bit, <laughs> you make it taste a little bit better. <laughs> it's actually really good, and it gives you energy for the whole day, for sure. It's really good. And his chocolate What's, obsession... Okay. Massive. I love that. Wait, what? What is? What is the uh, the smoothie? The breakfast smoothie? Like, what's it made out of? It's uh, hemp, hemp. Uh, I forget the or hemp hearts, ground up hemp hearts, uh, Ceylon cinnamon. It is tart cherries. It is uh, uh, this like undutched one hundred percent cacao dark chocolate that just tastes like fucking okay. dirt. <laughs> um, Shut up. What else? Uh, uh, there's there's more in it. It's it's very gritty. It's very oh uh, macadamia nuts. There's a bunch of nuts in it. Oh, I it's like called nutty pudding. Nuts. That's what it's called. Okay, and I think and it gives you energy. Like it, it just well yeah, it's a healthy meal. It's overall just like a healthy meal if you look at it in the from just like the 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 individual ingredient it's, perspective. Yeah. Yeah, um, so I, I found but, I found the whole thing. If you want the rest of it, um, he has an amino acid complex, creatine. Collagen peptides. Yep. Oh, and, I hate uh, that. Spermidine. Ooh, spermidine. Ooh, spermidine. Yeah, the spermidine. That's like a uh, algae or some shit. I yeah, put that in there. I, it is. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find exactly what it is, but I think you're right. It's like a big old algae greenery ground up. Yeah, yeah. it's just you know, just shit. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, it, it does not know, at dude. all sound like an advertising smoothie. It's his uh, wake up it's green not. giant, which he calls it, and it sounds fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's it's yuck. It is yuck. And he he yeah. drinks one of those every morning. It seems like so much effort and pain to put yourself through just to maybe live slightly longer. Maybe. Yeah, yeah and we haven't even touched on the thing where he was sapping his son's blood supply and injecting himself with his own son's blood in order to stay young. I think he's... Yeah, that's the <laughs> exciting part. He because did. Because it, it wasn't yielding any, like, uh, significant results. So he stopped yeah. doing the blood transfusions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is he feel full vegetarian? It seems like he is. He would I think have so. To be. Yeah. No, I, is he? I don't... I'm reading his meals here, and I don't see anything with meat. It's all, like, veggies He seems like he'd be a vegetarian. Right, let me call him. I'll ask him. Yeah, <laughs> let me know how it Can goes. you get him on the horn? Yeah. Well, another one that I find funny is I'm looking through his uh, supplement list here. He's got that whole list of pills that you were talking about, Impavel, just tons and tons. And on here, he has garlic. And then he has two different mm-hmm. versions of it that he takes as a supplement. And I feel like you don't need to do that. You can just put garlic in your food, you know? Yeah. It just tastes gross. Yeah. Or it tastes, it tastes strong. It doesn't weird, taste gross. It weird tastes strong. choice. I don't know. Would you yeah. guys have a son and sap him of blood if it meant you lived like maybe a year longer? Yeah. Mm. Sap him of blood. <laughs> There's a, there is science to bloodletting. There is science to, to Oh yeah, having, like it, in yeah. terms of infections and stuff, like clearing infections, there is. Yeah, and giving, like giving your pressure. blood occasionally has like pretty positive effects on your bone marrow as well, because like, that's where all your red blood cells come from. But that's huh. giving blood. Like we're talking about him sucking other people's blood like a vampire. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying like if you did have a son, it'd be a mutually beneficial uh, cycle of life there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, I well, I mean, uh, did you did, did you follow this new one that he posted, Oompa? The uh, how I'm de aging my penis. Oh yeah, dude. It, <laughs> the the quote in the thumbnail penis. is the erection of an 18 year old. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, oh boy, <laughs> has he compared? <laughs> That is so am, fucking funny. That is, and then, oh my god, his haircut in it. He, oh my god. What? Wait, he which took hair? the haircut off of like a Charlie Brown character in the Dude, uh, got, how I'm deaging my penis. He's got some wacky hair. How I'm deaging my penis. He, um, well, I reached out to him for for an interview a couple months ago, and he checked out my content, and he's like, "Hello, Caleb. It really seems like you know how to have fun." And I was like, whoa, this is really weird. <laughs> I don't like this already. Immediately concerning. He, do, he actually does look like a vampire, too. Like a, he does, an yeah. aristocratic yeah. vampire. Mm-hmm. Whether or not I physically it's Twilight. actually working, he, you know, on the outside appears at least somewhat to be doing something about it. I don't know. Not really. Like, if you scroll a little up from the tweet that I posted, he posted selfies from 2018, 2023, and 2024. And he just looks visibly aged in the 2024 one. Just more, I got, I guess, done up in makeup, but they can still tell that's an older man. Yeah, he's in good shape, though. Like, for yeah. his age, he's, mm-hmm. like, undeniably in good shape. Yeah. yeah he's and, and in good like, shape. His, markers. his skin is not too terrible, you know? He seems lively. Yeah. Like, on, on outward appearance, he definitely seems... On the younger spectrum, I would say. Yeah, yeah I, I disagree with your assessment there, Kai. Like, that picture between six years, I actually think he looks younger in the 2024. You might be thrown off because he is skinnier. He has more cheekbone there. Because in 2018, you used to have a fuller face, but that's about that it. That does lead to a younger perception. To me, he looks about 46. Wait, how old? In which one? He's 46. To me, he looks... He is 46. He, he looks his age to me. Very much so. On the right side? That's what I'm thinking. Too. I think oh, I, I mean, both in, of them he kind of looks... Uh, I don't know, man. I think he looks like 30 for me. If you took... No, he de- I definitely think he looks in his 40s. I just think he looks like he's in good shape. But I also think he's a victim of just his own face. Like, I think if his face wasn't that, if he had so that mean. body on, like, <laughs> so a younger face, well, I'm just saying, like, his face makes him look old. That's the main thing. I have to say it like so that, though. He's a victim of his yeah. own face. If he wasn't so goddamn ugly, he'd be younger. Yeah. yeah. How would I meant? 
<laughs> I think I ten years from now we'll really see though that that that'll be the yeah. the main our you know when he's right. when he's fifty six and he looks like a forty six year old that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, like if he had yeah, Paul really... Rudd's face on that body, I'd be like, oh, that's a twenty year old man. Paul Rudd does yeah. not look twenty. I disagree. Paul, Paul Rudd's face, like if Rudd. if Paul Rudd had his type of like porcelain skin here, he absolutely would on this body. Porcelain skin. <laughs> Honestly, no, yeah, Paul this Rudd is just has one of those things phase. where you have to wait it out a little. Because 10 years from now, if he still looks the same, then yeah, I guess we owe him an apology. and Maybe all the stuff is worth it. But if in 10 years from now, he just looks 56 anyway, this is going to be so <laughs> fucking embarrassing. To be <laughs> tweeting about how he injects Botox into his penis. This is so cringy. Dude, you should try it. Don't knock it, man. Yeah, he might be onto something. <laughs> <laughs> has he posted his penis? Does if- it look like an 18-year-old erection? Like... Is it proof? Ooh, I don't want to find out. Well, he goes, so I'm just skimming through the video. He goes to a urologist, and I don't, I mean, I guess that's his source. He's like, uh, according to this paperwork, this is the cock of an 18 year old. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, urologist uh, on the bounds to tell the truth. Certified. Maybe 18, eight certified months, something like that. Eight- <laughs> Imagine going to your doctor and say, hey, doc, guess how old this is, and then pulling out your feet. <laughs> Oh, my, my penis is 18, my say? cheeks are 19, my ass is 24, unfortunately. I'm trying to work yeah. on that. Doc, can you tell me the telomere length? How old is my wiener? <laughs> <laughs> telomere length. How old is my wiener? That's funny. Um, How he old is, is my like, wiener, mister? But if he, if he, if he like changes his face, Charlie, if he does like cosmetic surgery and stuff like that, plastic surgery, he's going to look that older. That, yeah, that, oh, no, no, no. That's oh. not... No, yeah. there's nothing he can do about it. He's stuck with that face. I just meant like if he had Paul Rudd, like that oh, kind right, of right. like face on this body, I think he would look much younger than 46. Yeah, because I was going to say like any kind of plastic surgery immediately ages someone in my opinion. Yeah, the world is he, terrible. Also, his like measurable stats and stuff are all really cool. He's pretty, his bone density is a really interesting one. He has really good mm-hmm. bone density for, for his age. According to the... um. Some test he took as like a biomarker <laughs> for aging that t- tests like how fast is my body aging. He ages at 0. 0.76 uh percent so 76% at the speed at which someone normally ages. So maybe it's working. Who knows? I it really might be. Have you seen his workout though, Oompa? His uh, mm-hmm. daily workouts? Mm-hmm. They are the goofiest fucking workouts oh I've ever seen. He's clearly awesome. working. I think Everything that's good, like, I really like this guy, and honestly, uh, Charlie, if you were to ask him, he would invite you down, and he would probably test your blood age level as well. He would love to do a video. With, he loves doing He's a fun guy. He's a fun Are you guy. Are a recruiter? <laughs> Did he get you? He I'm an ambassador. Blood, Charlie. He changed my life. Yeah, dude. I just had to give him some blood. I asked him if I could have some of his son's blood. He said no. Oh my god, that would have been fucking fire. <laughs> I have Brian Johnson's DNA in my veins. <laughs> That's so gross. I probably want to show you his erection, too. You think this <laughs> looks 18, Charlie? Come here. Let's see oh, an 18-year-old that... cock, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's measure our cock ages together, Brian. <laughs> Let's see who's got the younger penis. <laughs> Dude, Why 18? You compare this to, like... <laughs> A regular billionaire, though, right? Because how much of this is all the wacky science stuff he does, and how much of it is just a billionaire's lifestyle where he just eats the best of all foods without oh, any no. of the have pesticides you... and shit in it? No, 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 no. You have not seen what he does every day. He has an entire fucking it's lab crazy. and full time staff working at his house to measure each and every piece of his intake and his fucking laser routine every morning. He avoids mm-hmm. like these, like he avoids the weirdest foods while engaging in the the ones I think would be counterintuitive. Like if I remember correctly, he drinks wine every night too. Is that is that right? Yeah, for the resveratrol. Yeah, I think it's a big wine guy. He takes, I think, I think it actually is 180 pills over the course of like a three hour period. Then he has like a fucking fruit chimera, like acai bowl type thing. It's 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 a lot. It's not just. A billionaire's lifestyle. This dude is legitimately doing min max stats to try and squeeze some years out of his life. I guess we'll see if it works. It'll be yeah, fucking we'll, we'll hilarious see. though if he dies by eighty. 
But the, there's <laughs> yeah. no guarantee. He's That's like why totally I mean, so much one. effort. But he could like he could literally just die in a car crash tomorrow and stuff. Like okay, that's, how much? That's a, a really good point, though. Anyone? Well, it can. is. I mean, how much is he actually expecting to get out of this for all the effort that he's putting into it? He's not going to live forever. I actually do like him as well, for what it's worth. Oompa. Same. He's doing it for science. Like, he's doing it to try and better understand the human body's responses to a bunch of different variables. Like, he's doing this and publishing yeah. all of his results publicly. It's nothing okay. but yeah. a net positive. It really is. I agree. Uh, okay, in his well, book as well, I've read his book, by the way, guys, just in case you're wondering. Um, he's a He has a very interesting philosophy, and the reason that he does it is quite literally what, what Charlie's saying. It's just like, uh, he thinks that him... Basically doing this and making all this information pu uh, public and free for everybody uh, will, you know, reduce death. He, he will have the he will have as much of an impact, he believes, uh, sort of broadly and in a very general blanket sense uh, as he, he will have as much of an impact on longevity and lifespan as like modern medicine. Shit like that. Like That's just because retarded. of how how much of a how much of a, uh, you know how much of a how much how much how much he's putting into his body and how much actionable shit he's trying to be able to get out of it yeah except that's not how real science works if he really wanted to do that he would fund actual research with thousands of he participants does. not just experiment oh, well. on himself this is just yeah. a vain i just want to not die which is fine you can just yeah. say that all of us can relate to that i don't want to die either it's fine to be petty and selfish about it he shouldn't make it sound like he deserves a fucking nobel prize for taking pills He's not yeah. just taking pills. That's pretty reductive. It, it is. It is. It is a lot more than that. Like he's doing a long-term experiment on himself, whereas this isn't yeah, going you to be get done the point, on anyone uh, else. Like a study of one person doesn't prove anything. This isn't going to change science whatsoever. It's still. It's still interesting, it and it could in the still right direction, prove. Of course, maybe. it's interesting. Yeah. I'm down. I'm just saying he has the money. If you really wanted to change the field of medicine forever, okay, then fund an actual study with this stuff and like control groups and placebos and shit. He kind of does. He puts. Home. That's what the blueprint is. Yeah, and and also most of what he's doing that he's implementing on himself is stuff that has already been studied, and he's proving those studies uh, in a controlled environment to see if it actually has an effect uh, on like a, a just a regular person, um, quote unquote, obviously with like a a daily sort of schedule. That's like sort. That's sort of his goal, right? Like he's taking. Yeah. Everything that he's he's doing, there is a, a level, there's a burden of proof behind it, and he's testing the validity of that proof. That's like his goal. I was just going to say, j just to corroborate that, like the blood thing, like taking blood from his son and giving his blood to his dad. He figured yeah. it, he tried it, didn't work, so he, he moves on to the next thing. He's like testing those things. Mm -hmm. How did he yeah, determine that fine. that doesn't work? Wouldn't it need to be done over a long uh, stretch of time? It it was it was done over the course of I don't know how many treatments it was quite a bit but like he I, maybe you know more than me Oompa, but if I remember correctly he since he studied every single day he noticed that there was no like significant changes in any of his stats like nothing was really improving or changing so it was kind of worthless procedures yeah yeah it was and this it was one it was person again well it's three. They gave they gave the blood. There was no effect on the son. Uh, there was almost no effect on himself, but there was a substantial effect on his seventy year old dad uh, in having mm. the plasma infusion. What well, positive? Oh, is the dad effect? still getting yeah blood? Uh, subs no, but it, it's like a, it lasts for a long time. The <laughs> the positive effects last for a long time. Wait, so they found that the dad was benefiting from it, and they cut him off. Uh, no, it's just a, it's a therapy that you do once a year, basically. Like it's a thing oh, okay. that is done, and he was just testing it himself okay, using I his see. own equipment, and then and then publishing the the findings publicly. Imagine they do cut him off. It's like, all right, I got you, pops, and then he takes <laughs> off the supply like Bane without the venom. He just like ages fifty extra years. So this miracle just that drug. Petty. Yeah, if it doesn't like, work no, for yeah. me, you can't have it either. Fuck you. Yeah. If I can't have the benefits, <laughs> nobody can. It's in my blood. <laughs> would be me. Well, blood. That changes things, though. If it's just a once a year thing, then that's. I, I thought you would have to have your son on like an IV drip no. hooked up to you throughout the day. Oh. No, it's like a. Um, 
it shaved his dad's aging to to be this it was they had the same biological aging level so his dad instead of aging as a 70 year old was aging as a 46 year old thanks to the mm. blood and it it lasted for like a quarter i think quarter of a year why would it only affect his dad though and not all of them like wouldn't the principle transcend across age of like well, I if think you take on the blood properties then you age of the blood from which the donor was like the that age aging is pretty exponential and like health is pretty exponential and you really drop off like after the, your your 50s like once your hormones stop functioning properly your balls quit working your testosterone <laughs> starts to drop you just get real weak and frail and old and your head fills up with tumors and you die of a heart attack like it's just you know very small things really help and like your telomerase the enzyme that controls the length of your telomeres <laughs> which, which Charlie <laughs> mentioned earlier penile <laughs> length um that that is like stuff that for old people there is probably a really beneficial okay. effect of that therapy uh you know compared to he took his son's blood nothing changed but they gave the old man blood and it helped a lot okay because there's like a, so it's it's a slippery you slope basically to age once you hit a yes. certain yeah okay um, should we try but, it in the opposite direction and have him give his son yes his blood and see if his son <laughs> yes. starts rapidly aging and deteriorating <laughs> that would, that would be, be fucking so crazy yeah, yeah. benjamin button that bitch. to dust dude we should do we should instead okay there's brian what well, someone's already done that keith richards he's tried to age as fast as he possibly can and he's still alive somehow <laughs> That is How crazy, is he? actually, that he is still alive. He's yeah, 80. he's eighty, and, and not only is he still alive, he's eighty years old and still alive. But when he performs, he's still running around the fucking stage and just losing yeah. his goddamn mind. It's because he's full of and drugs. a coconut fell on his head. I think coconut, a coconut? head, a coconut, a coconut. Yeah, coconut fell on Keith Richards' head a long time ago. Bro oh my he's god, you're right. In, I found it in 2006. He was vacationing in Fiji. And he slipped off the branch of a dead tree. <laughs> oh, actually, the coconut is a rumor. It says that the press initially thought That's he was right. hit by a coconut. He uh, fell off yep. of a coconut tree. Yep. He fell off the tree. And what Dr. year Zilligan. was that? 2006. 2006. He on that Humpty so Dumpty type shit. He would have been like 70. <laughs> he would have been 70 and he's climbing coconut trees. Dude, that is baller. Well, no, but think about it. This dude suffered a huge head injury almost 20 years ago. And is 80 today and still running around like a fucking <laughs> maniac doing shows. <laughs> Maybe the, better than the ever. head injury might have unlocked more of his potential. Yeah, true. Just broke the aging center. Hit straight on his pituitary gland and just fired him into overdrive for the rest of his life. <laughs> Imagine if it really was that simple and you could just stop aging by removing a part of your brain. Like there's an <laughs> aging part of your brain. And as long as it's gone, you just stop aging. That'd be so fucking awesome. Uh... Te technically, when you're when you're hyperdosed with radiation, you sort of stop aging because your cells stop replicating. So you just like stop, and then you rot and die. But anyways, uh, it's like Keith Richards the worst look. kind of technically right. <laughs> yeah. That's like the ghoul from Fallout. Exactly. Yeah, Dude, it's <laughs> funny thinking about Keith Richards and Brian Johnson. Keith Richards' book is the polar. His philosophy is the polar opposite of Brian Johnson's philosophy. It's very funny. He's just like YOLO, memento mori type shit, and then Brian yeah. Johnson's like. We will all live to be a thousand. <laughs> I honestly prefer Keith Richards. I, I, I get that it's like defeatist and stuff, but I have no like uh I have no disbelief that I'm eventually gonna die at like eighty and stuff, so may as well enjoy it. Like I don't I don't think there's gonna be any kind of enormous increase in right. lifespan. So why would I And there's like, an argument time? Time. There's also an argument that spending your life trying to extend your life re re like reduces the value of your life ex exponentially. Yeah, yeah I, I. So it's just, like, why would you even do it? Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with it. <sighs> hey, speaking of uh, Fallout, though, have you guys seen the Fallout TV series? Yeah, it was good. Nope, it was no. really it. fucking good. It's so good. I wish, like, what? What is Xbox doing with Halo? Why can't they just <laughs> give it to them? Give it to people I don't that are know, actually man. good at making shows. It's it's like seeing this show really puts into perspective how, how shit bad you have is. to be at handling property for like Halo and The Witcher. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible, dude. Because Halo, the sh the Halo show is terrible. 
so it's awful. Yeah. bad. It's awful. I thought season two was a, an improvement, and it was, but it like. Was. I think that For was sure. me being generous because going to the like the Fallout show, it's just like a completely different world in, in terms of like quality level. It's just like this is an actual TV show. I feel like yeah. I'm watching something. The Ghouls, it's just so good. All of it was so good. So I love that show. I'm not even like an yeah. enormous Fallout fan. Like I, I don't like. I, I wasn't an, an enormous fan of this, like the game series or anything, but it like fully like uh, engrossed me immediately. It was really good. Um, and on the inverse, I'm an enormous Halo fan in terms of the games, and I resent I resent three four three and Xbox and whoever I think it's Paramount that did the Halo series. I resent them. Like I don't I, no, I don't same. understand how you could do I want so them to get badly glassed. with a property. Yeah, it's so bad. It is so. I want the covenant to glass them. Yeah, I never watched The Witcher. What was wrong with The Witcher? It just it fell apart. The they completely fell apart, and then they started to like do little spinoffs, like the the Witcher Blood Origin. I th- I think that was what it was called. So it just it really lost its way. I think the secret is having talented people as showrunners and like as the production, because I think Fallout is being helmed by Jonathan Nolan, uh, Christopher yep. Nolan's brother, if I recall correctly, and he did like Westworld and stuff, which was fantastic. Uh, so there's clearly talent, and like with Star Wars, I know children's shit you're gonna give me shit for star wars but star wars uh the (laughs) the andor series like literally the only good thing star wars has done in terms of like television and movies in the last like 20 years and it's all because it was helmed by i think it's tony gilroy who actually has experience creating uh like good scripts for for tv series and stuff so there's there's uh, shockingly there's a correlation between the talent uh, the level of talent and how good the shows turn out. So why do they keep hiring like a- absolutely like no name people who don't even like the properties Nepotism. they're working on? I mean, I yeah. Know, instead of the meritocracy, still- have you guys seen the yeah. uh, all like the woke, the anti woke guys talking about the Fallout show? How they were all oh, really it's, it's they said it looked like shit, and now they're just like, I, this show is fucking yeah. awesome, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, there's only one guy that's sticking to his guns about the show is just woke propaganda. It's garbage, and it's the uh, the classic synthetic man. I don't know if you've seen his like Tears yeah. of the Kingdom review. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's like the last holdout. And I decided to watch what he said about Fallout because I was curious. And the, one of the first things he mentions is propaganda about race mixing, and it was I fuck I was fucking stunned. What? It was crazy. Yeah, one of his first complaints is that it's propaganda about race mixing in the beginning. When? Because uh, the dad gets divorced and like the very first kid in the, the show, like uh, I'm trying not to give spoilers, but like one of the kids of the guy is black and he's white. So he's talking about like, oh, it's race mixing and promoting race mixing. But that's not even being woke. <laughs> How's that even, that's crazy. Why would you even, that, what the fuck? <laughs> I know. It's it's outrage. I, I recommend you that check that out, but. It's fucking absurd. And the amount of times he mentions male, the word male is crazy to me. He's like, yeah, this is fucking beta male. And this is like a, yeah, this male over here. And then this is the only competent male. And then you have this female. And the, the, he said the only good part about Fallout was when Lucy has sex. Oh, no. <laughs> With the, oh, my God. Yeah. I don't want to spoil yeah. it. It's fucking crazy. It's such a good. I loved it. I thought it was insane. I thought it was great. Yeah. It was it was super good. My girlfriend doesn't play games or anything usually, so it's usually a good sign whenever I show her something and she's like totally into it and loves it. Yeah. Um. Regardless of like if it's a video game property, she she absolutely loved it. So that's always a good sign. I think it's I think it's really good. I, I'm excited for a season two. Todd Howard did it again. Same. I love Todd. <laughs> Not even again. He finally did it for the he first time in a while. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, finally did it. Finally. I think he yeah. probably had. I think he had nothing to do with it, maybe. His name's just on it. <laughs> if did anything, you, he was at the studio video? going like, hey, can we add more of this to the show? And they went, okay, Todd, that sounds great. Go have your juice box. <laughs> we need Radiant AI. Yeah. He, uh, there, there's a video of, of him talking to IGN, and they're like, did you hear we gave the Fallout show a nine? And he's like, you did? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Poor he resents guy. them for Starfield? <laughs> resents the video games industry for Starfield now? Probably. No, I I think that man is so up his own ass. I don't think he cares. I think he goes, they just don't understand it. They they don't see 
that this is now in space and you can fly around in your own ship. Like, he probably has such a rudimentary understanding of what he's actually making in terms of other games and other competition. No, come on. You can you can dislike yeah. Bethesda. You can dislike the company and stuff, but I I I don't love the discrediting Todd too much. He's clearly an accomplished man who who is pretty like intelligent about uh, video games. Maybe design. maybe good in business, but I I think he I don't know. I I think you can only say so much bullshit until you believe it, you know. And the fact that he's always yeah. hyping up the most simple most nothing stuff about his games. He's got to believe it, you know? Yeah. He's more of a salesman. I, I knew that when he came out about, like, Fallout 76. Remember the Fallout 76 uh, yeah, announcement? Yeah, 76 debacle and the Starfield stuff. Like, yeah. But the fans believe it, you know? He, he comes out, he wears his leather jacket, and he goes, for the first time ever in a Bethesda game, we will have <laughs> kids... And everyone loses their fucking mind, and then it's obviously just basic bullshit from another game, or a cut feature, or it doesn't work. But they believe it. They eat it up. How many people, how many people thought Starfield was going to be the greatest game of all time ever made? And look at it now. Yeah. It's look not like that's a showed. crazy assumption when it's Bethesda, and the last game they made, well, they made Skyrim. I mean, it was enormous. Still yeah, selling, Sky, like, Skyrim, Skyrim, for all its faults, was still a very, very well put together piece of gaming. It was, it was definitely, game. it was, it was special. It had a lot of problems, but the good that was there for most people outweighed it, and that's fine. Yeah, but, that, but that's my point. It's like the like the assumption should be that that video game studio creates something equally or better than that. Like, that should exactly. be the assumption, so it's not, like, crazy exactly. for the fans to think that. But there was Fallout 4, which most people didn't like. It was very, very mixed. And then there was 76, which was a goddamn nuclear disaster from start to finish, and still is. And then they go, okay, it's Starfield time. This is the game. Because it's in space. Because it's sci-fi now. It's going to be a really, really big game that's huge and gonna change everything and people believed it people thought that starfield was gonna be the fucking game ever and but why wouldn't they now. believe it that's my point like why wouldn't they because bethesda made skyrim and then remade skyrim and were really really lazy and then for uh, 10 years after skyrim all they did was generate bad press and shitty products 10 years I, I'm surprised people believe them that Sky or Starfield would be good. And it all changed with Starfield. Now it's nothing but good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's back to being good press, baby. We're in the money. Mm, yeah. Everyone loves Starfield, the most fucking <laughs> forgettable game of the last 10 years. And the fact that the best Fallout thing doesn't even really involve Tom Howard. That's, that's all you need we to know. We don't know that for sure. He's an executive yeah, we, producer. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Give his give his leather jacket some credit. True. Yeah, we don't know what his involvement is. He could have been very hands-on. Like maybe his involvement was what stopped it from being bad. Who who really knows? <laughs> All I know for sure is I I, I gave Jackson a big I told you so because we were talking uh, about achievements in Discord and he's like, "Yeah, I 100% at Starfield." And I remember nothing of it. <laughs> and I remember when that game came out, my main point was that it's not really a bad game. But it's so fucking generic that no one's going to remember it because it's just a forgettable waste of time. And Jackson was like, no, 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 that's not the case at all. He does the same thing about everything. Remember, no, he said the same no, thing no. about Avatar 2. Yaha. Uh -huh. Well, so did Charlie. Charlie was on my side for that I do one. like, I, I, still, I still like Avatar 2. I still think yeah, that was same. a very good movie. You always point to such specific things like you can't remember this exact line. My memory's fucking bad in general, you prick. <laughs> You ableist? I don't have good memory. <laughs> <You're> ableist. <laughs> Jackson is like perpetually neuralized from the Men in Black. Like he yeah. does forget like legitimately everything. It's cr it's pretty sad. That's a, that. Well, that's an indicator of my own deficiencies, not the property that I'm judging. Like it doesn't mean that. Well, no, bad. but every everyone forgets Starfield. That game is fucking atrociously generic. Nobody thinks about it. No one remembers it fondly, and nobody's playing it. I, I remember some experiences in Starfield. I just don't remember the actual like story or which one snoring and having a dream. <laughs> I don't remember any of the story either. That's really weird. Jackson, or the names name, of yeah. like, the people. Name a I don't character remember the names. from Starfield. Uh, Barrett. I, I remember Barrett. He was like the cowboy one, I think. Oh wait, no, he wasn't. He wasn't the cowboy I one. I think. 
<laughs> what a memorable <laughs> character. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool character. <laughs> you actually yeah. sound like someone who just woke up in the hospital yeah. with amnesia. Like, I remember you sound like someone. As I was driving, <laughs> there was a cliff. You sound like someone who's never played Starfield. You're trying to pretend you did. Oh, I like Barrett. He was the, the cowboy one. Yeah, Barrett. <laughs> the, the, yeah. Cowboy he guy. was my favorite. Barrett, he was so cool. Barrett, you know. Which one was Barrett? I think it was the, he was the pilot. <laughs> yeah, he's your yeah. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never said he was my favorite. I just said I remembered him. He's the I only just, one you remember. What's the matter? <laughs> you don't have a favorite. You just remember a random, consequential character. Give me a chance. I can remember another one. Surely, I think. I think the cowboy's yeah. name is Sam. That sounds like standout uh, writing. When someone says, "Who's your favorite character?" You go, "Okay, hang on. I can remember somebody. Hang on a second. <laughs> you give me a second. I'm having. I'm having, I'm having flashbacks." <laughs> Wasn't there a big like? renowned modder who was modding uh, Starfield to I think, <laughs> add multiplayer or something and he said midway through yeah I got bored of this it's rude. it's too boring I'm not finishing this it's not worth it, <laughs> it, was a it guy right. Starfield. I wouldn't be surprised normally um, Bethesda games have a huge modding community but I have Tail. a very good feeling yeah. that Starfield is just going to be nothing the, the mods are just going to be maybe, maybe like gameplay fixes but that's it I really don't see anything yeah, else beyond it Thank you, Winston. Um, Starfield modder tries to make multiplayer mod, gives up because game is quote unquote trash. Ooh, <laughs> and this wow. game made the Skyrim Together mod, which is an incredibly popular mod that lets you explore the game with your friends. So yeah, the guy did. <laughs> Not even people who are invested, who have invested thousands of hours into all the other Bethesda games, want to play this thing. And you hundred percented it. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty easy one hundred percent. No. Oh. What yeah. was your favorite he moment made a video in the game? On it. I um, like when I got magic powers. <laughs> yeah, from oh, the nice. same the same fucking uh, what, what were those rooms called? Like the rooms with the rings in them that you go to over and know. over again, and they're the exact enough. fucking same. No, it, they did <laughs> it better in Skyrim. Like at least those were in like unique locations. <laughs> they were how different. you get powers in Starfield. Different. Yeah, how you get them in Starfield is you go into the exact same copy paste room over and over again. There's no like puzzle to get in or anything like that. You just go in, stand in the middle of a floating ring, and then you get the power. No kind of combat. You fly really. around like a yeah. little bug. Yeah, I'm it's off. so stupid. Very cool. Why do you keep playing these games that you hate on so much? I don't hate them. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't hate it. I like Charlie said. I think it's just bland. It's fine. It's just bland. I don't hate it. Dude, I feel like I'm not even... A, I feel like I've just given up on games. I haven't played a game in... The last game I played was Morrowind. What? That's oh the God. last game I wow, played. Kind of a like on though. launch? <laughs> when I was six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Um, no, the, I, I've been uh, just so disenfranchised, man. My favorite game ever, City Skylines. City Skylines 2 came out. Oh, and it was, it was just so fucking God, yeah. terrible. Yeah. And I, I literally put my hands in my head and considered crying. I was like, this is, this oh. is so bad. I've waited, I've waited eight years for yeah. this, for like another game. Maybe it ever, might be a little bit better. Did we ever but, talk about the Skylines 2 thing? Yeah, we did. About how all the NPCs had like a million polygons for some reason, even though you only see them from far away. Yeah, because they used some sort of an AI tool to 3D model the NPCs. But they never yeah. downscaled them or reduced the polygons or anything. So when you would look at the uh, city from above, it would have to render like trillions of polygons. Yeah, there was like no do, level of detail obviously. kind of, uh, no level of Jeez. detail like considerations. So it didn't change the polygons. Um, but now you know how fucking SimCity f fans felt back in 2010. Oh, that. dude, I feel the same about Sim. I love SimCity. Same. Uh, I'm I just still like salty Skylines for some reason. Fucking yeah. City Skylines. It's it's so good. City Skylines was so good. But I feel like I'm too attached to City Skylines because I have like $300 worth of DLC in that game. So I can't move yeah. on from it until City Skyline 2 has all that content back. It's so annoying. Yo, do they have modding now? Maybe? Hopefully. No, I, it Oof. didn't launch with modding, right? No, but they're supposed to add it, I believe, or some shit. Anyway, uh, do you guys want to wrap? Sure. sure. I'm ready. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you, Umper, for joining us on this episode. Really yes, appreciate sir. you giving us your time. 
shout out your favorite video on your channel to direct people to. Oh no, I don't have any. Come on, go watch. Go, all right, go watch the Nikocado videos. They're great. It's go, so go watch the Fallout TV show. It's good. <laughs> I'm Instead of it, anything Oop has ever made, just watch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's better than all of it. <laughs> Go check out Umpaville. He's He does great stuff. Great videos. Go check him out. How about this then? If you don't want to shout out your channel, how about you shout out Sour Boys? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Go to sour.gg and buy some candy. There we go. Yummy. That's a good idea. I forgot. I'm, st- I'm not a good salesman yet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that Todd Howard <laughs> okay. spark. Yeah. I need to get a leather jacket. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening to this episode. Patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes. We've got Red Thread coming out this week as well. We're tackling OJ Simpson in Red Thread. So that should be a, some fun. Uh, we've got Criminally Stupid coming out this week as well. Well, maybe next week. We'll see when that comes out. But in that one, we'll be tackling Austin Jones. So if either of those interest you, go check him out. We've got OJ, we've got Austin Jones in the official what an all-star universe lineup. of shows. Yeah, it's, yeah it's what a great. lineup. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.